St. John's and Seton Hall, both programs currently viewed as a 10 seed for the NCAA tournament. Recreate the magic of the Big East, and I tell you what, it's going to be a chess match here. The physicality of Seton Hall and the gamesmanship, but also the execution we're going to see from St. John's. A beautiful play for Oh, Beniaco off the feed by Dre Davis, who loves ISO. Pass that time on the dribble drive. Jenkins on the other end. A little give, a little go. Looking early. A day Wusu from way downtown. Across the river, in fact. Here's what Donnie was talking about. Attack Mediaco. He could get into foul difficulty. Taylor, great bounce pass to Dingle. Bring it up for Dingle, who during the... Is an outstanding recruiter, motivator. But I think what he's showing everybody, beautiful play that time in the Big East. Sees that one go crying off the front iron. Alamir Dawes. You think of Alamir Dawes, the Clemson? Yeah, that time Davis Jenkins may have gotten away with a foul. Yeah. That, no doubt they're able to get, negate a two-point opportunity. Wow, well, I think Seton Hall wanted to call on that. They <laughs> <laughs> get it back, but Dawes, you talked about it. Good and play D and guard. Yeah, here's the athlete, Lewis, who's got fresh legs. As well, it's, it's a matter of allowing the shins to recover, but yet still be, being able to play and speaking of which, Woo! against that 2-3 zone. And the echo away from the bucket, and there is what you can do when the big fella vacates the premises. Aikens a step back tray. Long rebound, Lewis. A pull up. We're tied at 16. Not so far, there's a dribble drive that leads to zero for Isaiah Coleman and a fast break for Lewis. Davis. He's the ISO guy, right? Well, I mean, the three point arc. Alamir Dawes. And a breakdown after the missed. Opportunity by play. Seton Hall countering the points in the paint with five of seven from downtown. Edge of four. Oh, the iron kind to the Kansas. That. But that's a question that St. John's and Seton Hall is going to ask it right now. Oh, excellent execution. A uh, pilfer by Lewis. Timeout, Seton Hall, they're on their feet. It's going to be an easy game mentally or physically to win, but if you get some layups like that in the beautiful, love to get a third on Bettyaco. Iso, count it. You see Soriano tell, little crab dribble right to the middle of the lane. Nice little jump hook inside. Ooh, and then Wusu against his old team. Soriano brought it down, but it fell right into the lap. Oh. And Alamir Dawes remains hot. Get to the NCAAs. He did claim it. Got there and held a lead over UConn by one at halftime in the first round as Richmond comes in to knock it. Lum bothered by Kadari Richmond. He pressed that one. He forced it, and Richmond makes him pay. Uh, live ball turnovers, the defense is so <laughs> that's the nature of Patino too. Here's Soriano on the echo. There it is. You know, to his credit, 15. This is easy to get a shot up. I get this right here. Oh, Lewis knows how to I'm do this. You. He knows how. Yes, he does. Good call, Potsy. Hey, I said this would do something in it into this and make it a five-point lead for St. John. That, ladies and gentlemen, for a man from Ohio State <laughs> and several NBA teams throughout his career. Ball, but underneath how to bounce by St. John's. Excellent play oh. underneath the little, Will, oh, oh, little yeah. Will route right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you call outstanding positional defense. Point of attack. Oh. You're able to finish. Jenkins yeah. killing it softly. Thank Here's you. Here's the open floor here. Lewis is rejected. Run down beautifully by Alamir Dawes, but right to Jenkins. Hey, what, what? Something like that can happen. You trust your veterans. Adewusu, speaking of, uses the glass in some of his lower seat in this half. 
Alamir Dawes a pull up. That was a big bucket. They needed that. Getting it back. And right up to Richmond. Beniaco with the one extra pass. It's the day. Oh. And a loose ball for Dewusu. This is his specialty. Count it. And a foul. Should have let that one so go. So much larger than his stature. Yeah, he'll battle. Coleman. Oh! Looking for the big play. And they get a hoop and some harm anyway. That man. He got the first bench points for the haul. And there you see is a beautiful leap. Mm. They've all been needed, and now that double-digit lead has been whittled down to seven. And we know St. John's is issued, but there's Aline with a big-time 13. Knock. So you're already down points, and now you get this. Oh, a lazy pass, and Naheem Aline makes them pay. Get this St. John's team. Uh-oh. This. Uh-oh. Coleman had his back turned to that pass. Unforced error. Dingle! Dingle this! Hutchins Everett giving it up. Davis. Oh, you think about Alamir Dawes and Davis. Alamir Hold on to this 10 point cushion. Well, having a lead in double digits allows a Jenkins to be able to take a break, analyze the game, figure out what he can do for Seton Hall. Well, keep our eye on that play right there. Yeah. Okay. That's a big four point swing. Yes. Keep yeah. our eye. Oh. It was 15 just a moment ago. Ledlam. Too strong. The tip in by Soriano. Deacons is. Ledlam on a dribble drive. Dawes lost his dribble. That sums it up. Jenkins answers. This moment for him and for the St. John's program. Little Louie is smiling about Rick Ricks. Program at St. John's, 91-72, our final. Right there, you see it. But it, the thing is, you see it, St. John's, you can't beat yourself against UConn.